government cannot be government until the people let them know that we put them there. And nobody can rule over you except you give them permission. The Nigerian youth are finding their voice and have come to understand that together, with one voice, we have more power than any government. And so we want to see every single member of House on the Rock lending their voice, not to attack government, but to demand reforms. And we are starting with the NSARS movement. We're going to make many more demands in all the irregularities and anomalies in public and civil service. And we certainly intend to challenge everything that is wrong in our nation. You owe it to your children. You owe it to your grandchildren. You owe it to the potential of this country. Otherwise, your children will become refugees in lands that have less resources than Nigeria does. Nigeria ought to be the strongest nation in the whole wide world. And now it is time for us to wake up, rise to our responsibility, and stand our ground and make sure that not one of your brothers or sisters in Christ or in the Nigerian Brotherhood is left out of the challenge and the fight to insist and ensure that justice returns to our streets, that righteousness is restored to our land, that equity goes back to the parliamentary halls of our nation, and that equity and equality are available to all Nigerians. No longer will governments continue to steal from us. No longer will public servants and judicial officers continue to rape the system of justice. No longer should the law enforcement of our nation ever again inflict injustice upon us when they're supposed to protect justice for us. No longer. That day is over. And I want to commend this organic movement that is not led by any one individual. It's just the heart cry of all Nigerians, old and young. But I am so proud of our youth. I am so proud of our youth. I believe that Martin Luther King is jumping in heaven, seeing Nigerians rise to their cause. I was elated when I saw my pastor, Bishop Jakes, another Nigerian, though of American birth, uh, uh, rise to add his voice to the anthem. Another friend, Tyler Perry, has added his voice. How will we allow citizens of another nation speak out for us? And yet, you hold your silence. It's not the evil of wicked men that allows injustice to continue. It's the silence of good men and good women that allows the perpetrators of injustice to continue their wicked works. That day is over. Let's add our voice to the big anthem that now sounds with a unification to condemn the irregularities, the brutality, the extrajudicial violence to sit the citizenry. Let's add our voice to that anthem to insist that it stops from here forward. Power to the people.